Hello, young minds. This time here, we have come around to talk about a very unique program called HCL Tech B. There's quite some interesting fact about this and why this program should be done, who should do this program, when, who is eligible, how does this program work and so on. Listen on for the next 5-7 minutes. We at HCL thought we also want to have those folks who bring in a lot of energy, who bring in innovation, who bring in creativity and who are very quick to grasp the latest and greatest in technology. In fact, those who can help us try and create, try and decipher what new technology can be into the future. Those that can dream what new technology can be into the future. We thought the traditional way to scale ourselves as an organization is probably not the best thing. So we said we should try and create a disruption. We go as close as possible to the most common of all learning that's required for them to branch off into our specific industry, which is IT services and products. With this, we said we will go the closest which is the 12th standard. If you believe you are one among them who want to partner with us in helping decipher what the new technology technologies are into the future, where technology is heading into the future, be a part of the journey. Let's listen to the next few minutes. We all have heard about the learn and earn programs world over. We have a very different version. Typically, one would finish graduation and then pick on a job. Now, what we are looking at is we take the brightest of people right after 12th standard in India. We put them through a skilling program basis our assessment and then put them into jobs that we have predetermined. And these are kinds of jobs which are with Fortune 500 global customers of ours and many others. Now these are jobs that sitting in India, you as a potential tech bee would have the opportunity to solve global business problems and challenges. If you are a bright 12th standard completing student or just completed student in the last year, either this year or last year, then you are eligible to apply. Once you apply, we bring you to an assessment which is basically to check your aptitude and a bit of English comprehension. Beyond this, if you qualify, once you qualify this, we put you through an interview process more from a learnability assessment. Once this is done, we help you onboard yourself with the basics of computer science, computer theories. We call this the classroom training, which runs for anywhere between four and six months, depending on the nature of job, which we already have preconceived. After this is done, now all these again take place through daily, weekly quizzes and monthly quizzes, tests and assessments. After this four to six month period is done, you are put through an internship process which runs for anywhere between six and eight months. During internship, you get paid a stipend of 10,000 rupees a month. Post internship, you become an employee. Successful completion of internship leads you to employment. We'll partner with premier leading universities and give you higher education. With these, there are choices ranging from BSc Design and Computing to BCA to BBA and leading on to MTech, MCA and MBA programs as well. So there are a plethora of options for higher education. This entire program has a tuition fee which can be enabled through our funding partners. Some are banks, 
some are non-banking financial partners. These partners have their own terms and conditions which can be seen upon discussing with our counsellors. Of course, yes, depending on the, like I said earlier, you're going to be participating in solving real world problems of global customers sitting in India. Now, basis the technology choice, technology spread, at that point in time, you would participate in creating, evaluating, changing, enabling new technologies to solve the world problems that particular customer unit has. We have currently with partner universities range anywhere between three years or four years for undergraduation programs and between two years and three years for master's programs. These higher education programs are funded partially by HCL. Uh, so this is basis our higher education policy for tech bees. This is one thing we said we should do where we will enable each of you that gets selected for this program into higher education while you work into leading cutting edge technologies. You also get to learn, enhance your knowledge broad. The kind of jobs typically would be um, application developer, application support engineer, tester, data scientist, um, mechanical designer. Uh, it could be an infrastructure administrator, infrastructure analyst for large complex IT infrastructure analysts. So it's typically these kinds of jobs that people get into. And again, it could be in industries that are ranging from healthcare to media and entertainment to travel transport logistics to banking insurance to manufacturing and so on in fact there are some deep tech companies as well with this possibility for any of you to be a part of now you could apply either by just visiting www.hcltechb.com or there are numbers that get flashed both in media, I mean, as in print and other social media channels. You could just call people right from these numbers would be typically the same as what you see in the website and there'd be counselors would get back to you as to how to apply. Some of you might want to visit us in person. So you could come into any of the HCL tech offices that, that are there, Pan India, or we have set up local centers that are close by you and the counselors would guide you where these local centers are, bases where you are located. The assessment takes place online. So you could do it by virtue of sitting at home or you could walk into our assessment centers which have the capability for you to do. Again, it'll be an online assessment. So you could do one of these two modes. Interviews again take place similarly. There are qualified certified interviewers who are senior leaders within the company who have gone through this process of how to assess somebody for learnability. So you could be anywhere in the country. I mean, you could be based out of Tripura, Agartala, you could be in Kerala, you could be in Kashmir, you could be in Gujarat, you could be in Bihar, anywhere across the country, you could still access this program. The Tech B program is one of its kind where once you pick on a program like this, you can feel certain that you are going to be into the most promising spaces within the organizations. Like I said earlier, this program is to build the future of the company. And hence, we are trying to identify those which are young, bright minds who can help us create the technology of tomorrow.